Mtazamaji sasa tuangazie taarifa ya Tanzania kwenye tasnia ya habari ambapo familia ya marafiki na wafanyakazi wenza wa marehemu Rita Tinina walikusanyika katika kanisa la Holy Family Basilica kwa misa ya wafu. Marehemu Rita alisifiwa kama mwandishi wa habari mbunifu ambaye taarifa zake zilichochea mabadiliko katika jamii. Rita alifariki kutokana na ugonjwa wa kichomi. Wingu la uzuni lilitanda katika kanisa la Holy Family Basilica jijini Nairobi. Familia, marafiki na wafanyakazi wenza wa marehemu mwanahabari Rita Tinina walijitokeza kutoa heshima zao za mwisho. Mwanahabari Olive Barrows aliyesoma taarifa ya familia hiyo alimtaja Rita kuwa mfano wa kuigwa ambaye siku zote alikuwa tayari kusaidia. We believe that Rita rested with many people's secrets. She was a trusted confidant to family, friends and colleagues. Yet she never let one hand know what the other hand was doing. What was shared with Rita stayed with Rita. Wenzake walimtaja kuwa mpenda haki na marafiki. Rita's narratives transcended the boundaries of mere news. They resonated with the hearts and souls of her audience. Today, as I stand here before you, the answer to that question is I am broken. However, broken things can be mended, whereas the loss of a loved one is absolute. I shall miss you dearly, Mama Mia. Waziri wa habari, mawasiliano na uchumi digitali Eliudowalo alihudhuria ibada hiyo alitoa wito kwa kila mtu kuiga maadili ya Rita. Let us emulate and exhibit the values that Rita exhibited while also at the same time espousing the virtues that she stood for. Rita atazikwa mnamo Jumatano nyumbani kwa familia yake eneo la Nosupini kaunti ya Narok. Polina Simiu, Derubini.